Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the various types of nutrition that is performed by the kingdom Protesta. So let us look into what are the different types of nutrition these type of organisms perform. So the first type which we are going to discuss is known as photosynthetic type of nutrition which is also known as the holophytic type of nutrition. So what is this? So this is a very common type which we know photosynthetic means they can prepare their own food with the help of carbon dioxide and sunlight. So they will definitely have the presence of photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll. So with the help of chlorophyll, sunlight and carbon dioxide they can prepare their own food. So this is known as a holophytic type of nutrition. The next type is known as holozoic or zootrophic. So what is this? Here the organisms, the protists, they ingest the food materials or other animals, other organisms as a whole. Like this is a type of uh, nutrition which is performed normally by animals. So, can, uh, so they can feed upon their uh, prey directly. So this is known as a holozoic or zootrophic type of nutrition. The next is known as saprobic or saprotrophic. So what is this? This is an interesting type of nutrition because here the organisms they sec secrete digestive enzymes outside uh, in the environment. So if there is food material present uh, around these organisms or the protists, so they will secrete the digestive enzymes. Now these digestive enzymes, they will digest the products, they will break down the complex materials into simpler materials. Now these broken down uh, products which is actually present in the surrounding will now be absorbed by the organisms. So organisms do not take in the food and then digest it. In fact, it is a reverse way round or the other way round. They digest the food outside their body and then they absorb it. So this is known as a saprobic or saprotrophic type of nutrition. The next is parasitic. Here the organism is dependent on other organism for its food or nutrition supply. So that is they cannot prepare their own food. They feed on the prepared food of other organisms. So the organism which is actually dependent on the other organism is known as the para parasite whereas the organism on which this parasite is dependent is known as the host. So the parasite feeds on the nutrition provided or performed made by the host. So this is a type of parasitic nutrition. The next type of nutrition is known as mixotrophic nutrition. So these are the protests which can actually perform both holophytic as well as saprobic type of nutrition. That means they can prepare their own food with the help of carbon dioxide, sunlight as well as uh, the presence of pigment chlorophyll. Whereas they can also secrete enzymes if uh, food material is present in the environment, they can secrete enzymes and then uh, take in the digested food. So mixotrophic means they can be holophytic as well as they can perform saprobic type of nutrition. The next type is known as symbiotic type of nutrition. This is a mutual association or mutual understanding between two different types of organisms. That means here the organism is dependent on another organism for its survival or for its food whereas the other organism is also benefited from these organisms. So it is a mutual under understanding. Suppose there are two organisms, organism A and organism B. Now organism A performs some activities which is actually helpful for B whereas B performs some activities which is helpful for A. So it is a mutual understanding, it is a mutual coordination. This is a type of symbiotic association which is performed by these protists. And then last type is pinocytosis. This is uh, where the organisms like uh, the protists, they can ingest soluble substances and salts from the environment. So in this video, we have talked about all these seven types of nutrition which is performed by the protists. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.